Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair and how I make it sleek and basically how I make it last throughout the week because once I straighten my hair, I keep it that way for a good four days. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. These tips are really helpful for me because I've always struggled having really curly hair and straightening it and then it going really poofy and frizzy like an hour or two later. I used to think it was about what products I was using and what, what flat iron I was using so I would bite all these different flat irons and just hope that one would do the trick. but it's not really about what flat iron you buy, how expensive it is, or what products you're using. It's about how you use what you have. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up if you do. I had a lot of fun making it for you and I can't wait to see you guys on Thursday. Let's enjoy the video. So I washed my hair last night and I slept on it. That's why it's pretty frizzy in this video, but that's okay. It's totally dry and it's ready to be straightened. I made this dry shampoo myself, but you could use baby powder or any dry shampoo that you like and put this through your roots. The reason I'm doing this even though my hair is clean is because this is going to absorb any oils that start to develop. I like to keep my hair straight for a long time, so I keep it like this for about a week. That way I don't have to use heat on it too much afterwards and I can have this straight hair for a while. Now that my hair is prepped, I'm going to turn on my straightener and I'm using a KQC X Heat flat iron. This flat iron is pretty good, it's nothing majestic, um, but I do really like this thing. This protects my table or my vanity or wherever I'm straightening my hair from getting any burn marks. I've had this since I was like 12 and I highly, highly recommend that you get one of these from like a beauty supply or something. While my straightener is heating up, I'm going to section off my hair and put it in an elastic or a clip depending on whatever I have handy. And then I'm going to take a one and a half inch section of hair and start brushing it from the bottom. The reason I do this is because you want to keep your hair in your head, obviously, and you want to make sure that you're not ripping through your tangles. So if you have a tangle in the middle of your hair, just start brushing from the bottom and work your way up. That way you're not ripping through the tangle, you're just slowly working into it. What I'm doing here is I'm keeping my flat iron open without clamping down and I'm getting really close to the root. And then once you're about half an inch away from your roots, you can just clamp the iron down and start smoothing down your hair. I'm going to show you some other tips and techniques, but you can see how sleek that made my hair all in one pull from the flat iron. I don't have to go over it several times, which is what I love. It's going to keep the hair really sleek and shiny and a little bit healthier. Okay, after I run through my hair with the flat iron, I like to follow up with my hairbrush. This is going to distribute the hot air and it's going to cool down the hair. When your hair is cool, it can't be manipulated anymore, so that means that if it's straight, it's going to stay straight. Whereas if you put your hair down and it's hot, it can still move and curve around, so that's how sometimes your hair gets a little bit frizzy. If you don't allow it to cool down and then you go out, your hair can get a little bit frizzy and poofy, especially if there's any kind of humidity, which is like the worst. To make sure that the shaft of my hair is sealed, I'm going to run some cool air from my blow dryer. This is really important that it's cool because the cool air is what's going to seal everything and add a ton of shine. And this is going to help it last throughout the week and overnight so that you don't have to use too much heat in your hair throughout the week. When it comes to the top of my head, I'd like to take smaller sections of hair and straighten those. I feel like this is going to make it a lot easier to get it super straight. This is the part of your hair that everybody sees, so you want it to be nice and sleek. I'm going to finish up the rest of my head and do the same process, running my brush through my hair after I've straightened it, and then blasting cool air all over my head to seal the hair and make it really shiny. This process takes me about 30 minutes if I take my time. I like to put on YouTube videos or movies and music just so I can relax and listen to some music or watch something. And sometimes I get a little bit distracted so it'll take me around 30 minutes, but if I'm in a rush it can take me anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to run the blow dryer through my hair and make sure that it feels cool entirely. Sometimes the heat will be like hiding underneath the roots of your hair. Make sure that all of that stuff is super cool and there's no heat in your hair at all. And then you can flip it upside down if you want a little bit of volume. This style is going to last for a couple days as long as you don't get it wet. There's no need to use any products or any like hairspray or anything. If you want to, you can add that. I never do and I don't really tease my hair either. So I just leave it like this and I love it. And that's a completed look. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have curly hair, you know how hard it can be to make your hair stay straight and not frizzy and poofy. So I hope that you try these out and I hope that you love the tricks because they really work for me and I'm really happy with my hair now. 
just remember it's not about what tools you're using it's not about what flat iron you have how expensive it is whatever it's about how you use what you have and how you make it work for you so please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I can't wait to see you guys on Thursday until then please don't forget to subscribe and make a new video every Monday and Thursday and have a safe week I love you bye